well, had the pleasure of having my nephew, George Moncur, West Ham player, um, in the coaching studio today. And um, he's got the record very long. He's, uh, he's ball speed, 180 mile an hour with a driver, um, was carrying it 320, 329, I think, was his longest. So, um, really long player. Um, Obviously, when you have that length, you need a bit of control. He can he can spray it around a bit, but we we worked a little bit with his driver. Um, got his original swing here on the left, and you can see with George's setup with a driver, it was a little bit like a like a, an iron setup. I'd say the ball was was a little bit too far back, hands a little forward, um, weight uh, evenly spreading the legs with the spine and the head up quite straight here over the ball. Um, so what that did for George when he went back, he couldn't really get behind it. He was he was turning. You see a good good turn, good stable legs, good good turn of his shoulders. That's why he's so long and obviously he's fit and strong. Um, couldn't get behind it. So so when he started down, he would then really dip his head back and behind it to try and get the the driver in the air so it, it was launching very low you see there he's hitting down on it a little bit even though his head's gone back um, so that was launching a bit low and, and could have a bit of side side spin on on that or access spin is, is uh, whatever you want to want to call it these days um, but the ball's going to spin to the side and, and go offline um, so so this move as well is hard to time so so when when George does this a little bit out of timing he can get the left and right shots going um, with that and you see with his finish, he's still still really leaning back there as he's finished. So we set him up over here on the right, got his ball more forward in the stance, um, got his weight a little bit more on the right leg there, so his, his spine would tip a little bit to the right there, and his head a little bit more behind the ball to start. Um, so what what that would give him, he could he could turn in the same way, but but stay behind the ball with his head a little better. And then try and get the feeling of moving into it. So you see there, he's, he's trying to move into it. He's still got a little habit of going back. You can see there at, at impact, his head's not gone back as far as as he did over here on the, on the left. If we look at the circle of his original swing at impact, and he's, he's new once his head is three quarters outside the circle here, and it's only a little bit outside on, on the right here. So, so less error, much better. Um, Again, you see his original swing, the lean back finish. Where, where this one, he launched these balls a lot higher. He's launching them from, from sort of six, seven degrees up to now 11 degrees, which is, is a great launch angle for someone who hits it um, with, with his speed and power. So you can see there, he can get through the ball better. And when he, when he finished, finished a lot, lot more onto his left side and, and tall, a much better finish position, you can see, than the one on the right. And, and these balls were just going straighter so really good there well done George and um, we'll, we'll see you see you soon and remember we, we looked a little bit at these wedges as well so just remember George to, to try and hinge a bit of your wrists there with the wedges get a bit of feel into those shots and um, you should be playing really well